in the previous lesson we have learned how to correctly map a uh, input and output variables from truth table into kind of maps so i have explained about um, two three and four variables kind of map in terms of uh, labeling and how to actually uh, move the output variables and input variables from truth table into kind of map if you are not sure about that please go back to the previous lesson just for a simple recap um, previously i've explained this uh, how to transfer four variables from truth table into kind of map so if you are still remember we are focused on the uh, outputs with the uh, high value which is in this case one two three and four so we match the input variables into the uh, respective cells in the k-map so for example so we have this uh, high output from here zero zero one zero and then for k-map we have a uh, zero zero one zero and we insert the value of one into this cell and similarly for three other variables output uh, we map into the respective cell uh, in the k map all right so this is how um, uh, we did in the previous lesson now let's learn how we can uh, group the cells using k map rule the first rule is uh, we cannot group any one with a zero cell so like this is wrong so we can only group one with the other one okay so this is the first rule the second a group may be horizontal or vertical but not diagonal so it can only be horizontal or vertical it cannot be a diagonal like this this is wrong second rule a uh, group must contains one two four eight or in general it must be two to the power of n cells so if we have four input variables it's going to be two to the power of four so we have a total of 16 cells all right so we can group only following this rule so in this first case example here it is correct because it only has to input variables high within one group but here it is wrong because it contains three if you look at here we're not going to get any equation two to the power of n equal to three all right and this one is two to the power of two so you can group up to four in one group but not here okay here you can see a two mistake one because it's tried to group a number of one which only have five and second mistake is because it's include the zero as well whereas for kmap we only consider only one uh, cell with the one input all right please uh, be careful about this all right next rule uh, each group should be as large as possible okay when we group uh, ones in the k map we have to try to group as large as possible as large as possible means following the rules of two to the power of n per group so in this case we can actually group to maximum of four and the other one is four as well okay one thing to take note we can actually uh, take a redundant mapping between the cells as long as we can cover the largest group uh, okay here we have the same uh, cells with uh, ones however if we group with just a minimal with two two and two we still can cover the whole ones and still following the rules of two to the power n which is two to the power of one where each group is of size of two uh, i'm not saying this is uh, wrong totally but uh, later on we'll see what is the impact 
uh, the bigger or the larger the group, we will have the more simplified version of equation. So if we compare these two, we will see that for uh, this one, we only have two terms and otherwise for this uh, group here, we'll have three terms. All right, I will explain about this with example later on. But the thing is, we have to try to group as uh, as large as possible following this uh, size. Okay, uh, each cell containing one must be in at least one group. Okay, so when we have a cell side here, even though we can group this with a two, uh, we cannot leave it without, we cannot leave this cell without grouping. As long as we have one, we still need to put it in any group, whether it's going to be one in one group or we can take actually a larger um, uh, grouping, which is two. Okay. Uh, let's say we have one uh, here. Uh, let's say this is example. This cell is one. So actually we cannot leave it. We have to group it as one single cell because there is no, uh, the adjacent cells is a uh, zero. Okay. All right. And here, as I explained uh, in the previous slide, uh, the groups may overlap. Okay. Uh, we can use the same ones here uh, in one group. And even though we have already grouped this within the first grouping, we still can use as long as we try to find the largest group for the other two ones here. So we have four and four here. So groups may overlap. And second here, as I said just now, it's not wrong actually, but uh, when we do not apply the largest grouping like this, we're going to have uh, extra terms later on when we, we transfer this into uh, expression. So we have one, two, and three different expression instead of only two if we take the overlap and group into the larger groups. All right, the next rule here um, is uh, very important, even though uh, sometimes uh, a bit uh, confusing. Uh, groups may wrap around the tables. What means by this actually? If we have uh, uh, these uh, K maps here, so we see we have uh, ones in a uh, number of cells here. So what is the uh, best method of grouping this one. If we still remember, we have to find uh, based on the this uh, grouping size 2 to the power of n and at the same time we want to try to group into the uh, largest group as possible. Okay, so if you look at here, we have only one single cell here, one single cell here and two cells here and two cells here which contain uh, high output. So, uh, as these rules uh, mention, the groups may wrap around the table. So, the leftmost cell in a row must may be grouped with the rightmost cell, and the top cells in the column may be grouped with the bottom cell. Okay. Interesting fact about K map is we can actually take uh, around the table means. We can actually take this as one, two, three, and four as one group. Okay. And the second one, normally maybe you think of taking this one group and two group where uh, each group contain only two uh, high in input variable cell. But if you look at here, uh, the top cells and the bottom cells can be grouped together means that we can actually take this as one group containing four cells. Okay, so it's very important to remember this or otherwise if we have, let's say we have one, one here and this also have one. So the best is actually uh, for us to take, oh, let me change the color here. Okay. If we have uh, this example, actually we can take this as itself, this one four plus the other side 
four cell as one group okay so this is um, one of the most important rules in order for us to have the uh, the most simplified expression later on okay so details about this I will show in uh, examples in the next part all right all right um, rules six um, there should be as few groups as possible I've mentioned about this uh, just now so uh, that's the reason we have to find the largest uh, groups based on the rules 2 to the power of n in order for us to have a minimum number of uh, groups as possible the the lesser group that we have that means we have a less product terms and eventually result in the most simplified expression so here we have uh, two terms and using this method we have three terms so supposedly uh, we have to find the minimum terms from the k map so that's why we have to group it with the uh, largest number of uh, ones in one group all right uh, that's it for uh, rules of uh, how we can actually uh, group the cells in k map and in the next part i will give an example of how we can write um, Boolean expression based on the grouping that we have done in KMAP like this. Alright, thank you.